Welcome to Tech Wizards with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to pass parameters to SQL query in Azure Data Factory. So we might be using copy activity where we have to build our uh, SQL query for our source, or maybe you will use the store procedure and we will be using uh, uh, some query there. So we have to build uh, this uh, SQL query and pass some parameters. Uh, so I have a couple of scenarios here. Before I go into scenarios and we explain, uh, let me explain a couple of uh, things that everybody asks. So first of all, uh, uh, a lot of guys ask uh, from where you use your uh, data that you use in the demo so we can use that as well. So I go to techbrazersit.com, I go to SSRS report, videos are right here. And uh, this is a uh, tons of SSRS report, uh, but what we need to do, we need to use this script, a uh, script to create a total sale table with the data for practice. Uh, that's what I have just uh, created for myself. And uh, that's what you can copy and create the table and uh, load the data. Now, if you go to the uh, uh, right here, that's exactly, I did a copied and uh, uh, created a table and just uh, loaded the data. So I have uh, my database on Azure right now, it's called Tech Brothers IT. It has only one table as of now. So let me cancel this out, go to tables, and here, okay, not allowed, uh, okay, what, why is that? Let me reconnect, so reconnect. It, it is asking me to sign in, I'm gonna sign in. Okay, so it's connected to the Azure now and we can go to the database and inside the database uh, I have this table. Let's right click on this uh, table and uh, take a look. Uh, we are going to select some rows and uh, you can see that uh, I have columns such as region, country and such a uh, different column as well. So I will be using two parameters. I'm going to use the region and country as a parameter in my pipeline and uh, then uh, we will pass those values uh, to our uh, query and uh, get the data for the uh, file. So let's uh, go ahead and create our first uh, pipeline here. We What we need to do, we need to add your data factory, right? And the second part, what we need, we need to create the CSV file depending upon the parameter value passed to the query. So I'm gonna go to the storage here and I have this container called output container and that's where we will create the file. So now let's go back here and uh, now what we need to do, we need to open Azure Data Factory. Open, go to author, go to pipeline, new pipeline. And uh, first of all, I will be creating two parameters. Uh, these are pipeline parameters. Uh, these values can come from uh, many different sources. Maybe you use a lookup and get those two values and then you wanna pass those uh, later to the query. But in my case, uh, this is specific to the parameter. And uh, I'm gonna call it the region and uh, I'm gonna provide the value to the region Asia. And then uh, I can go and uh, create another parameter called country and uh, I will provide the value, let's uh, provide Pakistan. Now in this case, so we are all good here. Now we need to use a copy activity. Inside the copy activity, I'm gonna use uh, these two parameters for uh, my select query. So I'm gonna go to source here, hit new, and it is going to ask me, do you wanna create a link service? Yes, Azure SQL. So I'm going to, create a linked service here first. So I already created one linked service. I'm gonna recreate for you so you can see that information. I have to select my subscription, server name, and database name, and then I have to provide a username and password. So here's my username. And I can test connection. And let's call this one LNK. I'm going to just rename and hit create. So our linked service is created uh, now. I do not have to select any table or anything anything like here because I'm gonna use a query. So you see right there, there are multiple options. I can use a uh, table, I can use a query, I can use store procedure. But sometimes we have to write complex queries and pass some parameters values inside the pipeline. That's why we would like to write the query. Now. What we are gonna do, we are gonna go to add dynamic contents. And uh, this is the most uh, annoying part of where you, most of the people get stuck uh, and uh, they don't feel good about this. So, uh, let me make it bigger, a little bit here. Okay, so first of all, if I wanna write it, uh, select query, mostly what I will say is select, start from DBO table, say total sale, and uh, then where region is equal to, now, I have the parameter, right? So it should ask me like, oh, you wanna uh, 
and just this parameter let's say we provide this a region parameter here so once i put, put paste it there it added this uh, at the rate sign in the front of it and uh, then also did this part uh, right here so i don't know uh, let's uh, leave this as it is and now if we go to sync uh, and in the sync uh, what we are going to do i'm trying to make this small okay so in the sync uh, what we need to do we need to create a file so as you were this is blob storage right it's right here actually so create the blob storage and we are going to create the csv file and uh, this is uh, going to be another linked service uh, to pointing to our blob storage so select the subscription select the account and uh, we are all good i'm going to call this one lnk as well so we created this linked service that we are going to use uh, it's asking which folder you would like to create the file so i'm going to go to the output folder and i can give any name of my region file or whatever you know and uh, yes, first row uh, has a header. I don't need to import schema. Hit OK. Now, if we, uh, you see that our source uh, uh, is something like this. Now, I can go ahead and debug and see what happened. So it is asking parameter values I just provided. So it's saying fail to run the pipeline. Why? OK, let's uh, take a look. If I go here, error details, bad request doesn't tell a whole lot uh, like hey there is a, a problem in your, inside your uh, expressions uh, that you're writing for the query and all that so anyways uh, so i remove this at the rate sign now i was thinking like okay should they at the rate sign should come here okay fine and now i will go and say debug and debug again and now let's see if it will pass I'm taking all these steps so I can show you how you will be uh, getting expert or writing expressions and playing with that because you have to kind of learn these things. So copy activity right here. It's in queue. Once it's failed. So it's failed. So how I'm going to know that like it is building the right query. There is no expression evaluation there. So that's really miserable. But what you need to do, you can go right here in the input and once you go in the input, you can see right there, that's the query it is building. Select star from a DBO total sale, where, and then a region is equal to at the rate. So it took literally that value, okay? So it did not take the actual value was saved in the parameter. It took the parameter name as that. So maybe we remove this at the rate sign. And uh, let's see if that's the problem. So let me cut this out. And uh, if I will bring the parameter as it is, so what it bring? It will bring at the rate. So taking that out uh, from here is not going to be really helpful, right? So I understood from here, like I should use some other functions to concatenate the values. So concat uh, is uh, the function that we will be using. So I'm going to go concat and here. Pay some attention to it because uh, this is expressions or uh, these things you will be using over and over. So this is a one-time learning. This is a really good good learning. I learned from experiments. So, so you click on concat uh, and here see that uh, it shows you some example. It shows you at the end uh, like, oh, if over, over. I wish uh, you can just uh, copy and paste but uh, anyways. So see right there, it is a... Uh, showing you when you hover the mouse it says uh, concat and then you have a uh, single quotes around the value comma you can pass the parameter and then uh, you can have a uh, you know uh, another value there so once i uh, brought concat function here now i can pass multiple values first of all i need to pass uh, the select query select star from dbo dot total sale and uh, in this case uh, now i'm done with this right so I put single quotes around it. So if you want to see, let me make it big. See, so I have single quotes right here and single quotes around here. Then I'm going to put a comma here and let me show actually where, where region is equal to. And then I'm going to put single quotes here and then a comma. And then I'm going to bring my parameter value here. So if I go to the parameters, sorry, delete this. Now, this is our parameter, right? So I'm going to click right there and uh, click on parameter. So it brought the parameter. Now, my understanding is okay. The, my parameter value is uh, a string. It is okay. It should work just as it is. So I have this uh, select star from this uh, value uh, from table where region is equal to. 
this and then I have equal sign then I have to provide the path, uh, parameter for the region so I should be all good let's hit OK and test this out now if I debug as of now I'm not using a country I'm just gonna first build for region and then we will go for country it failed again so what I need to do I don't need to go actually on this error because if I go to this error it will be kind of misleading invalid column name Asia see right there so it's uh, not really uh, helpful in the output error information actually it is more helpful in the input so go to the input and try to sort it out like how you how you're building your query so I see right there select star from uh, DB dot total sale where uh, region is equal to Asia so there is no single quotes around this query that's why it is creating problem and this query this is this is actual starting of your query so you need to put the single quotes around the, the Asia so that's our region coming from the parameter so I need to go back here and then uh, I'm gonna make it a little large so you guys can see and I need to add single quotes so, so to add single quotes here uh, what I need uh, I need uh, let's say I want to add a single quote after this uh, equal sign right so I have to put uh, one single uh, quote two single quote and uh, let's see uh, two single quotes I believe they will work for one so I'm going to uh, come at the end of the region and then comma and now I have to add uh, one single quote. So here I have to f add four single quotes uh, to bring one single quote. So this is how it works. So these are four single quotes. Uh, and uh, let's see if this evaluated true and then we should be good. And uh, let's uh, debug. okay it finally uh, got successful so let's go to the input again and see our query you see select uh, uh, star from uh, dbo dot total sale where region is equal to asia so it worked out just fine so uh, that's how you are going to put uh, some single quotes around it uh, let's go to the file and take a look uh, storage and here is our container and then we are going to go to the output and in the output uh, we have our file so it should have uh, all the records for uh, region Asia. Edit. And we can see that uh, it has uh, all the records for region Asia and the country Pakistan and India. So uh, this is good. Now what we are going to do, we are going to add uh, the other parameter called uh, country. So go back to your query. And here, now what we need to do, we need to put a comma. And uh, let me make it big. So we have to put a comma after that, single quote, and say and country equal to, and then put three co uh, single quotes. So this uh, one single quote is uh, closing this uh, item, and then uh, two single quotes will bring one single quote here. And uh, then uh, we are going to say uh, comma, and uh, then we will bring our country parameter. right there bring the country and after the country we have to put single quote again so we are going to put comma and four single quotes okay so that will put a single quote if you are using this as, as a um, all the, like a, you need to put single quote in uh, in this uh, by using concat it's going to bring uh, four single quotes it's going to bring, bring you single uh, one single quote now here if uh, it was inside where I used uh, I use only two of them so that's also I don't know like you have to kind of learn this part uh, so hit OK and uh, what's gonna happen uh, now if we go ahead and uh, execute our query I'm asking hey uh, create me the file where my region is Asia and country is Pakistan so let's uh, execute It is uh, completed successfully. Now what we are going to do, we are going to go back. Uh, let's go to the actually query first. Uh, so click on input and see right there, select star from dbo.totalsale where a country is Asia. Sorry, region is Asia and countries are Pakistan. So this is coming correct. Uh, so we are good here. We should go to the output, take a look on this file now. And uh, this time it should have only records for Pakistan. Go edit and uh, you can see region Asia and country Pakistan. Now let me make some small changes here. Uh, I'm gonna go this time. I'm going to run uh, this uh, 
for uh, region Asia, but the uh, country India. Now this time what's going to happen uh, is going to write uh, overwrite our file uh, and uh, we will have records for region Asia and uh, country India. So click right there and you can see the query select like start from total sale where uh, region is Asia and country is equal to India. So that's good. Now we go back here and click uh, on the uh, that uh, CSV file. Click on edit and you can see that uh, now we have uh, records for region Asia and country India. That's good. That's work. So uh, just to let you know, you don't have to worry too much about that, uh, uh, about the expressions and all that. I have written pretty much all of them and copied them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you in the description. So in this case, uh, I use the uh, region and country as a parameter. You can also use your data time parameters such as, uh, uh, you know, if you want to have a select start from this table where uh, uh, start date is equal to this and end date is equal to this. So you can have the same type of parameters here. You're going to use, uh, uh, you know, if you have date here, just change the date column and then pass the values. So you will be all good. I will put this in description. So thank you very much for watching and I hope this video will help and I will see you guys in the next video.